My name is Patrick McGahn and I'm a qualified lawyer in England and Wales and Australia and I recently passed the QLTS test on my first attempt. I studied law in Australia. I finished in 2010. In 2011 I worked for a judge in the Federal Court of Australia as a judge's associate. After finishing that I moved to London to a city firm and have worked as a dispute resolution. Uh, associate since then. I decided to sit the QLTS as it was a condition of my contract that I eventually pass it. Um, even had it not been, I think I would have liked to have passed. Um, it's always better in sort of a dispute resolution practice to actually be admitted in the jurisdiction you're practicing in. When I was first investigating um, what the QLTS test actually involved, it was pretty clear that it was relatively onerous. So I knew I'd lack some assistance in getting sort of from A to B in the most efficient way possible. Um, so that being the case, I asked around my firm for those who had done the course previously and they all recommended QLTS school. So that made the decision pretty easy. I had a really positive experience studying with QLTS school. Um, in short, all the materials arrived on time, they were all helpful, and when you got to the OSC, the tutor was of great help and uh, very pleasant to deal with. As regards the most beneficial aspects of the course, I think for the multiple choice test, having access to such a large bank of questions and answers was invaluable that really allowed you to zero in on where your knowledge was at in all the various topics. Um, as to the OSCE, I think having the tutor there to do the mock tests with, again, really allowed you to see where you were at and sort of um, give you the incentives, as it were, to um, improve so that you didn't have to reset the test. Like most people working at a law firm, the time that you have to prepare for these things is rather limited. Um, so it was sort of in advance of the course, it was limited uh, to an hour or two here and there during the week, uh, mainly sort of time spent on the tube and then, you know, the odd weekend. Um, but I think most of my study was done sort of in intensive blocks, sort of the week or two before both exams. My firm was very supportive of my study. Um, in particular, I was able to take a week's study leave before both exams, which I would highly recommend. I think, like most tests, you could always be more prepared. But I think by the time you've gone through the material and done quite a bit of the mock tests um, provided by QLTS School, you feel that you're in a fairly good place. So. I was certainly comfortable by the time the test came around that I would have been a good place to pass. I now work as an associate in the dispute resolution practice of my firm, working on a variety of matters, um, including some international arbitrations, some commercial litigation, and some competition law um, follow on damages work as well. The most useful thing about being admitted in England and Wales is that the, I'm better able to put myself forward um, in front of the firm's international clients who always feel more comfortable with an English uh, admitted solicitor, solicitor than that one who is admitted overseas. I think for anyone thinking about studying these tests, I would recommend doing a preparation course unless you have a lot more free time um, to spend sort of working out the results of you know what needs to be studied and what has been on the past tests and all those things which a preparation course can give you some really quick insight to. The only two bits of advice I'd give for someone thinking about studying uh, for these tests, um, the first is with the multiple choice, I would definitely spend a lot of time doing the question and answers. 
In regards to the OSC, I would spend some time getting very familiar with a couple of the databases on Lexis and Westlaw for each of the topic heads. You'll find that the time given to write the letter of advice or the piece of legal drafting is very short. And if you're not quite familiar with what the answer is, it's really helpful to be able to navigate quickly around a database to find that answer and get going. I'd recommend uh, QLTS School to anyone who's working and studying for these tests at the same time. The school does take away some of the pain uh, that is going to come as a result of preparing for these tests. In my short career to date, it seems to me that the senior lawyers who are able to best listen to what their clients and their staff want are the ones who enjoy the most success.